All right, y'all, what's up, folks? Killing the Cat Daddy. Um, keep watching my videos. We keep fishing this river. We got several trips coming up. I break that PB blue twice. I'm up to 42 pounds now. I also caught a set a new record at a 31 pound flathead at this river. That's not my total PB. This is just at this river. Had a great night of fishing the last time I went. I was going to go tonight, but we got that hurricane coming through. Before, before I forget, Kathan Walser. I hope I said your name right. You won the giveaway, man. So hit me up in the comment section. We'll get up and I'll get your address and I'll ship this stuff out to you. If I don't hear from you in a couple days, I'll pick someone else. But you won the giveaway for the uh, the hat and the fish grippers and the ghost float. But back to fishing. Um, had a great night of fishing the other night. I lost a monster. Um, caught a 42-pound blue and a 31 flat. Got back to the ramp. Someone sliced my daggum brake line, y'all. Sliced my daggum brake line. I can't believe it. I, I backed the boat up. I mean, I backed the trailer up. And God, God was with me because usually I fly down. I'm pretty fast at backing down. Well, I got halfway down the ramp. And I, well, right before the ramp started to, to decline, and I uh, I stopped and readjusted and went back down. And I couldn't stop the truck. My, my, ad, my butt of my truck was in the water, and I had to just throw it and drive and pull it up. And it didn't take me long to figure out that some son of a gun straight... Cut my brake line, y'all. I took it as a test. <clears throat> I got some rough homeboys. They, they want to go handle this. And, uh, you know, I thought about it, too. I went and talked to DNR. They don't care. They laughed in my face. I don't even think I'm going to call the police. I'm just going to let it go. I forgave the guy. I spent all day yesterday fixing this. It was a pain in the butt. I messed up a uh, hydraulic line, too, when I was taking this off. So I had to redo a hydraulic line and get this right. It's driving good now. Um, it's not going to stop us from fishing. It's not going to stop us fishing that river. We'll, we'll change locations on landing. Um, it sucks because I really like that location, but I just had to forgive them. And that's just that's what you got to do, y'all. You got to forgive people because you can't be forgiven unless you forgive. And I've done, I've never sliced somebody's brake lines. That's just evil. Like, that's, I've done some messed up stuff, but this right here, I mean, this is, I could have killed a kid. I could have killed somebody. I could have killed myself. I mean, I, I just don't understand this. I can't grasp it. I ain't done nothing to nobody out there. I really haven't. I haven't had no altercations. I just, I don't get it. But, uh, it is what it is. Just got to forgive them. You got to forgive to be forgiven. So that's a lesson for today. Enjoy this video. Keep watching. We're getting on them fish, y'all. And we're going to keep fishing. This, ain't, this right here ain't going to stop me. A nice one. <laughs> 42 pounds. We've had a heck of a night, y'all. We're going to let him go. I've been through way, well, I don't know if I've been through way worse. I've been through a lot, but this is, I just can't understand this one. This is one that I just, I, I can't grasp that. I can't grasp someone cutting your brake line. That's, uh, that's insane to me. But anyway, enjoy the video. Thank y'all. Like, subscribe. If you're new, Watch for the end. I'll put some videos up of some of my, some of my good trips. Um, thank y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. What's up, folks? Carolina Cat Daddy. I told y'all fib on the last one. I said I was going to hit Water Rear Congaree. Well, it's been raining two days. Today's Tuesday. So 
been raining about two days straight. It rained today some too. As you can see, it's off and on sprinkling. But uh, I had a job cancel on me. So, look at the weather and I had a window. I got about a four hour window to fish down here. And uh, so I called, I hit Jamie K up and he ain't had no bait. Hit the second bait man up, he ain't had no bait either. I got a third bait man, but I didn't even hit him up. I went to Lake Wiley, caught me two shell crackers. That's all I got. Went in there with a little cricket hopper, caught me two shell crackers. That's what we're fishing with. We, we cut one up, made four pieces out of it. I'm not gonna throw no more rods out. Uh, we're back in the Catawba River. They've been biting out here so good, and it's not a far ride from my shop, so that's what we're doing. Um, Rode up a little bit, didn't see, I seen a couple fish, but nothing, probably about a 20 pounder and a couple of those with them. Come down here and I marked a couple good fish right here. So we're gonna fish right here for a little while. Like I said, we ain't got but two shell crackers. So one's gone and I'm not throwing no net. I ain't bringing bring the bait rod here and I'm not throwing no net in the Catawba River. I have a couple nets on the bottom of this thing. I'm not, I'm not donating any more today. But we went and spent some money. We got, uh, we got a new anchor. Couldn't find the other one, got a new anchor. Went and got a new net. If y'all seen in the last video, I was having trouble netting those fish. So I've had this net before. It's about $35 for a bill. It's a good net. You, you can't complain for $35. It'll get the job done. Um, you cannot, I got a video of a guy I took fishing. He netted one of my fish and he just picked it up like this and the net just snapped. You can't do that. You gotta, you gotta pick them things up like this not the strongest thing in the world but for $35 it's a dang good net you can't beat it it's got a long handle on it uh, it'll last me it'll last me a while I, uh, I spent a good bit of money I signed me and junior up for the uh, big money showdown bought that anchor bought a bag of floats um, had to buy a rope for the anchor a chain a little shackle I had to buy a new boat ear been a good bit of money so I couldn't spend Jamie has one for a, a better net than this for about 70 bucks and I just couldn't do it I gotta I hit my limit on what I'm gonna spend but uh we got a few hours we're gonna try and stick us one let's see what happens all right y'all it did not take long at all I ain't been here but I literally just turned the camera off uh, he ain't no big boy but Skunk is at the boat very quickly. So it's, uh, it's uh, slightly raining a little bit, so I might have to uh, put the waterproof can uh, case on. I hope he didn't take this bait because I really need to save all the bait I got. Catawba River Channel Cat, boat. He is ugly. Woohoo! Pretty big to be a channel. But he is ugly. Dang, you're an ugly joker. Glad you didn't take my bait. Glad you didn't take the bait, Bo. You was an ugly thing. Come on. Come on, I ain't using the net on you. No, sir. No, sir, this sucker is purple. It might have had a late spawn on the river. Come on now. Give it here. Come on, man, why are you being difficult? Oh, he got me right. Oh, cheap shot. He took a cheap shot, yo. Give me a dig on hook. I'm doing playing with you, bro. Give me the hook, man. Hey. You just open your mouth. You ain't getting me again. Thank you. That sucker took a blow blow on me, y'all. Low blow. I ain't right. Get your butt. Hey, he don't want to go. He don't want to go. Look how blue, look how blue and purple he is. Crazy. 
right. We're not gonna throw back to that side. I'm gonna throw one more over here. If those are what's over there, I don't wanna I don't wanna waste my bait on those. I don't have time. I don't have the luxury of playing around with them today. Skunk's out the boat though, but he he wasn't edible. I wasn't wasting a brand new net on him. Feels like another channel. If y'all can hear me, but this sucker was peeling drag in the holder. Now he's running towards me. Forgot I had the anchor rope right. All right, y'all. I don't know how well y'all heard me with the with the rain cover on. I forgot I had an anchor straight down at the back, and I was fooling with the camera trying to get it adjusted, working him to this side. I wanted to net him here, and I totally forgot I got an anchor straight down. As soon as he hit that sucker, he popped it. Fifty pound line, he popped that instantly. It's a good fish. It wasn't no uh, PB or nothing. It would have been pushing. It would have been pushing my Catawba River PB. You know, about a 30, 35 pound fish, maybe. Maybe. He was definitely close to 30. I didn't get a really, really good look at him. He was a blue. But uh, dang, dang. It's fishing though. Man. Keep fishing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's heartbreaking. Um, I hope y'all can learn from my mistakes. You got to pay attention to what the heck you're doing, man. Uh, that should not have happened. I was watching the motor. I was paying attention to the motor because he was right back here and I was trying to get the camera right. And I totally, usually in the river, I only use one anchor. But today the wind is really blowing, so I wanted to hold my back in. You know what I'm saying? So I dropped the big anchor. I got the little anchor up front. I got the big anchor just straight down. I cannot believe that. I got uh probably gonna sit here about another five, ten minutes and I'm gonna move on down and see if I can find another spot. Typically when I river fish, once I catch a one good fish, I usually I'll sit there for a little while longer and then I'll go because I don't know. I mean you might just sit here and catch them all day, but from my experience, once I catch one good one, I, I get I usually get on up out of there. I still I'll give it a little time. I actually took this one out and threw it straight back where I caught that one hit. Dang, y'all, he had to, he took off, boy, he had that rod down, peeling drag in the holder. I got him, he wasn't no, I mean, I'm not too upset. He, uh, like I said, he was probably a 30, 30 pound fish at least. But, uh, there's way bigger ones in here, y'all, so we're gonna keep fishing. And we only got one shell cracker left. These two pieces of bait, and I got a bigger shell cracker. I put the, the smaller shell cracker on to begin with. So. We'll give it another 10, 15 minutes, and we'll move down and see if we can find one more good spot. We're not going to. Okay. Ah, it came off. <laughs> Woo! I 
I should have reeled down, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was that big of a fish. If I still got bait on here, I'm going to throw this one back out. If not, I'm going to leave this one here about five, ten minutes, and we're going to go. We're going to move down. Yeah, he, he got the bait. That's all right. That one caught me completely off guard. I was expecting that. We got to get it together, y'all. We got to get ahead in the game. We got to get ahead in the game. All right, y'all. We marked the freaking toad back here. Biggest fish I've marked out here since I've been out here these three trips. A freaking toad. So we're going to set up on them. We got a little while longer. I'm fat out of bait, but uh, we'll see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. I don't think he's that big. Couldn't really tell the start. They're biting good today, y'all. I ain't missing in about 15 minutes. That's the biggest one we've caught today. We're gonna get to use the net, y'all. Alright, y'all, there's a much bigger fish here. It's a much bigger fish over there, y'all. We're gonna keep fishing. We'll probably just fish this spot. We're out of bait, so we're just gonna finish it out right here. It ain't no monster, but so far it's the biggest one today. Not bad. Well, we lost the biggest one today. But uh All right, y'all, we sat on this fish for about an hour and we couldn't get him to bite. The last three trips, I've been pretty good. I marked a big fish, good fish, and I've caught him. So, this will be the first one I didn't get, but uh, he was suspended, so he's probably moving around. There was some other fish in the area. We did catch that one, but there was some other decent looking fish. But that was the biggest fish I've marked in the last three trips. So, we're gonna call it the wind. We actually could fish a few more hours probably. Probably about two more hours, but I'm at a bait. I got a woman buying my old tire. I got some tires on the truck. She's buying the old set. I need to go and go sell them uh, tomorrow. Since the bait man ain't got no bait, we're gonna spend all day tomorrow. I'm actually gonna start working on this deck on the front. I'm not gonna build the console like I want, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a deck up front. And uh, I'm gonna go to Wiley tomorrow and I'm just gonna catch a bunch of bait. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep them alive as long as I can. I got a vacuum seal, I'm gonna vacuum seal some up. If I do it correctly, especially with perch, uh, they ain't too bad when you thaw them out. I was complaining the other day about that whole, I still got the cooler going too, but that whole bunch I had in the cooler, but when, once I thawed them out and cut them up, they were still bleeding and I caught fish. So we're gonna put some up just for hard times like right now. Well, like short trips, you know, when I ain't got time to go catch bait or whatever, whatever the case may be. I got a vacuum, so I hadn't used it in years. I hope it still works. I got to get on Watery and Congaree. I don't have to get on Congaree. That's a want, but I have to get on Watery. We got these two big tournaments coming up. And I got to get on Watery, but I ain't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to catch some bait tomorrow. But uh, I'll probably show y'all some clips of that. If not, see y'all on the next one. Sorry I missed that fish, y'all. That's uh, that's heartbreaking. That's uh, that was a rookie mistake there, but it is what it is. We're gonna keep fishing. We'll see y'all on the next one.